Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Diane's Math TV. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so, so that you will be notified when I release new videos like this. In today's lesson, we are going to talk about the equation of a line. Enjoy watching! Okay, so let us recall ordered pairs. Recall that for ordered pairs, you're, you just have a, a pair with parentheses in it. The first number that appears is your x-coordinate and the second number that appears is your y-coordinate. Now, if we are given a collection or a set of ordered pairs, let us find the rule that relates your x and y coordinates. So, for example, let's look at letter A. What can you observe, class, about um, the x and the y coordinates? They just differ in sign, correct? So here, if y is, if x is negative two, y is just the negative of that, which is two. If x is negative one, the y is equal to the negative of negative one. So therefore, the rule here is that the y coordinate is just equal to the negative of your x coordinate. Is that clear? Now, what about letter? B. Can you determine what the rule is? You have 1, 2, 2, 3, and 4, 5. What can you observe, class, about the y-coordinate here? You're just always adding 1 from your x-coordinate, correct? The y-coordinate, for example, 2 is 1 plus 1. 3 is 2 plus 1. 5 is 4 plus 1. So our rule here is that y is equal to x plus 1. Now what do we mean by linear equation in two variables? So a linear equation in two variables is an equation that can be written in this form. ax plus by is equal to c where a, b, and c are real numbers and take note that a and b cannot be both equal to zero one of them can it's possible that one of them is zero but they cannot be both so what are the things that you have to remember here um to know whether it is a linear equation in two variables take note that what can you observe the exponents of x and y are only one okay what else? Um, X and Y should, they do not appear in denominators, in the denominator, right? Anyway, the point is that, so no, um, no variables in the denominator. When I say variables, those are just the letters, right? Our X and Y. Why? Of course, you can have a constant in the denominator, but the point here is that no variables in the denominators. So, for example, which of the following are linear equations in two variables? And if they are linear equations in two variables, determine what your a, b, and c is. So, remember that what is um, our linear equation? The form, it should always be of this form. Ax plus by is equal to c. Now, obviously, for the first one, this is linear equation in two variables. Correct? In particular, your a is, what is the saying class? a is just the number multiplied to x, b is the number multiplied to y, and c is just your constant. And what this is saying is that the constant should be isolated from the variables, from the terms concern, um, containing variables. So in this case, my a is 2, my b is 5, and my c is 4. Correct? Now, what about for the next example? x squared plus 4y is equal to 5. Is that a linear equation? The answer is no. Why is that? Because you have an exponent of 2 for x. And remember that the exponents for x and y should only be equal to 1. Okay? 
So the reason is that the exponent of x here is 2. Next, 3x minus 4 equals 7y. Now, the answer this is yes. You can always put it in the form ax plus by equals c. What is this saying? The x and y go, are, they are together on um, in one side. Correct? This is saying that the variables, the x and y appear on one side and the constant on the other side. So I will just transpose 7y on the other side and put negative 4 on the other side. So in this case, it will become 3x. Remember, I'm transposing. So positive 7y will be minus 7y is equal to, and then the negative 4 there, I want to put it on the other side. It will now become positive 4. So this is your a, b, and c. So let me write that. a is 3. b is, you have to include the sign, negative 7. And c is equal to 4. Let us test what you've learned in this lesson. So please take the following quiz. Pause your video if you want to answer the um, following questions. Don't forget to write your score in the comment section below. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also watch for more videos here.